You know, one of the least talked about aspects of this job is surrogate's court. And that's probably because most people don't understand surrogate's court or what it's all about. Surrogate's court is where we probate people's wills. It's where estates are handled. And it is also the court where adoptions take place. And surrogate's court law is very, very unique, it's very tedious, and it's a court that is very procedure-oriented. And many lawyers choose to not practice in that area of law because in order to become proficient at it, you need to do a lot of it. And in this judicial race, one of the factors that distinguishes me above any other candidate is that I'm the only attorney that has actively practiced in surrogate's court for his entire career. I have estates pending right now as I'm speaking to you. I have adoptions pending. Uh, my recent review of the surrogate's court statistics have revealed that I have handled more adoptions than any currently practicing attorney in Shenango County. And unlike my opponent, I made a conscious career choice many years ago to practice in this area. My opponent, on the other hand, made a clear and conscious choice not to practice in this area. So I think that is one of many distinguishing factors that uh, lends itself in my favor when talking about which candidate has the most comprehensive experience in all three courts. Which candidate is the comprehensive candidate? Thank you.